Some time ago, folks, I had the great pleasure of meeting a young man whom I consider one of the finest gentlemen that I've ever met, a most interesting character indeed. His name is Father Gabriel over there. And I think he and his fellow priests deserve a huge round of applause. My right, Father? And I would like to take this golden opportunity of doing especially for Father Gabriel a special little tribute from Ireland. It's something very authentic. So, could we have a bottle of Guinness from the bar? <laughs> Please, no, no. And it's a little poem which comes from the northeast part of Ireland, County Down. And it's seen through the eyes of a 70 year old man. For tomorrow, Young John has been ordained to the priesthood, and he was quite a lad before he left. The poem is simply called The Priestin of Father John. I hope you like it. I know you will. There'll be priestin in the morrow. Troth, it's a queer world too. For I mind the rascal that he was, and the things he used to do. Many's the time I chased him when the strawberries were ripe. Though I own, I never caught him. He was faster than a snipe. He hit me with a snowball once, and that same very hand will be blessing me the morrow. Tough, it's hard to understand. Long Richard from Kirkcubbin, who's a sort of far-out friend, has been strutting round this fortnight back, just like a hatching hen. And McAllister from Cargy, who's no more to him nor me. You'd think, to hear the chat to him, he'd rear them on his knee. And Tom the tailor's nearly beat from hurrying on new suits. And there's powerful heavy buying on caps and yellow boots. Owl Cannon Dan, God bless him, will be fussing fit to burst. And the women bait another to get the blessing first. But cannon, or no cannon, and it say this to his face, for all his bit of purple, he'll take the second place. Sure, even if the bishop came with yon big mitre on, he wouldn't get the welcome that we give to Father John. You can quit your scowling, Julia, and saying, I'm not wise. Sure, the sight to him would ease me heart and gladden me owl eyes. It won't be easy bending, and the owl knees will hurt, but I'll get down there for an instant in all the mud and dirt. And if I get a chance at all, I whisper in his ear, ah, oh, I'll say it nice and quiet so that no one else will hear. If anything should happen to me before you go away, it's no one. No one but yourself I want to shrive me for the clay. The old cannon mightn't like it, for he's still hale and strong. And I'm sure, I'm sure if he anointed me, wouldn't do it wrong. But I'd feel more contented if the hand that helped me go was the hand that threw that snowball 20 years ago.